So far, you've seen how to build a scrapey spider to extract one quote from this page. Now, you will learn how to scrape many quotes at once from the main page of the same website. Let's go there. Instead of showing only one quote, this page lists 10 quotes. Our goal now is to write a scrapey spider to extract the 10 quotes from here in 10 separated data items. We've already seen how to extract the data from one single quote. Let's try reusing the selectors we built for slash random in this page. I'm going to copy this page URL and open it using scrapey shell, as we did before. Now let's try to apply the same selection logic that we used before. Here we have the selector for the author name. We've built it in the previous video. As you can see, it extracted the data from the first quote only. What if we use extract instead of extract first? Let's try it. Okay. Now we got a list of with all the authors in the page. Let's quickly apply the selector for the quote text, which is span.text. And here they are. Now let's try to extract the tags. Oops, something's wrong. We got a giant list with all the tags from the page, and we have no idea to which quote the tags correspond to. The right thing to do, actually, is to extract the data from each quote at once. So, let's go back to the page and inspect it using the browser to find a solution. Let's open the developer tools. Let's see how this page is structured. As you can see, the data from each quote is grouped inside a div.quote element. Here is the first quote, and the others are structured in the same way. Let's try to work with these elements in our shell. We can select all the quotes using the div.quote selector. Here we have a selector list object containing one selector object per quote list in the page. Now let's get the first one only and see if we can get the first quote data from it. And here we have the selector object for the first quote. The cool thing about this is that now I can run further CSS queries on this object and those will be limited to the div.quote block. So, let's try to select the author name from it. We can use the same selectors we've built before. But now, they will be applied in the context of the current quote. Here we have the name. We can actually use extract first to get this as a string and not a list. Now, let's get the text from this quote. Span.text is a selector, and here it is. And last but not least, the tags. As you can see, using extract first returned only the first of the tags from the first quote, so we have to use extract to get all the tags as a list. Awesome! Now that you've extracted the data from the first quote, we can extrapolate it to all the quotes using a for loop. So, for each quote in the page, I will build a dictionary and print this dictionary in the screen, just to test it here in the scrapey shell. So I will copy the selector for the author. For the text, and the same thing for the tags. And now let's print this dictionary. See? Here we have all the quotes from the first page. Now we can apply the same logic to the spider we built in the last video. So I'll copy here this piece of code and paste it into my spider. We have to do some adjustments here, just to get rid of these ellipses. And here we go. 
Now let's just yield this item to make sure that this data is going to be passed along scrapy components. And now it's time to run to check if it's working. Oh, I forgot to change the URL. Now it's okay. So let's run it and wait for the output. Here we can see the number of items scraped and we can also check the file. And here we have all the quotes. Now, what if I wanted to scrape the quotes from many pages, as in a pagination scheme? Well, that's the topic for our next video, so stay tuned!